Peace of Energy is of Light. No, this is your reading for the energy in January. This reading is a what you need to know about the energy in January of 2022. If you are returning, you are welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, <clears throat> check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading and you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link if you have not already along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. And if you need something more private, more specific to your channel, I'm sorry, more specific to your story, <laughs> the link to the email address is in the description box posted below this video. I have not been able to really post any readings because I have been under the weather, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So I am going to try to continue on with some of these readings for today. <clears throat> there are some distance between you and another person. Could be an Aquarius, Leo, another Scorpio, or a Taurus. I'm seeing distance here, and I'm seeing you wanting to move towards this person. This situation is causing you to feel some type of anxiety. You are feeling alone. You're trying to gain clarity and wisdom. Some of you are getting advice from your family, your friends, because you feel like this relationship is stuck at this point. It's stuck. It's not moving anywhere. And you want to know why. You want to know why. Because you are still very passionate about this person. Some of you may want to have sex with this person from what I'm seeing. Comment below, let me know. This could also be vice versa. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. But again, with the sun card, or moving forward with the sun card, I am seeing, I'm seeing you gaining clarity. You may be sending this person a message of love um, calling them, sending them an email, texting them, letting this person know that they make you feel happy. You're happy when you're with them. They light up your world. And you want to nurture and grow this relationship with this person. Could be a Leo or a Libra or a Taurus as well. I do see in the immediate future... Some of you are going to have a new beginning in love coming in. But you are going to have to decide on moving away. Some of you are going to have to walk away from um, a relationship that you are currently in in order to have this new relationship that's coming in. Or you're going to have to walk away from a past energy that you have been holding on to. You're going to have to release that in order for this new energy to come in <clears throat> from what I am seeing. What other messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What other messages are here? Yeah, see, you're tired of waiting on this person. You're ready for this Ten of Cups. You want stability, financial stability, as well as stability within love. Yeah. Some of you are ready for stability, and I see you moving towards that. You're moving towards peace and harmony to balance things out for yourself. Could be moving towards a Libra. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm seeing you taking action in a different direction. It's not towards this person, this past person. In 2022. 
Yeah, some of you are getting attention from new people. And there's a commitment coming in. Stability is coming in. Because you're taking action to move away from that past person. Which is good. That's good. Because you two were not seeing eye to eye. You were on two different pages. But as I said, there's new love coming in. This past love left you disappointed. Um, crying over spilled milk. Left you having regrets. Feeling uncertain about yourself. Where things were going in your life. You felt like you were in the dark. And now there's new love coming in. So... I always say that's good if you're ready for it. Yep. Someone's going to come in and see your worth. They're going to be able to maintain balance in this, get this union with you. I don't know why I can't talk. Because you're, you've are you decided to walk away from that past person. All because you decided to leave that past person alone. This will be a two-part um, reading as well. Yeah, see, here it is. Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning with a new love. It's not going to take long at, at all. It's coming in. And it's when you least expect it. You're not going to have to look over your shoulder. There won't be any deception. This person is going to be your wish fulfillment. Look at it. Look at that. I'm, I'm not even going to touch that. Um, again, this is a two-part reading. I'm, this is your love portion of the reading. Next, I am going to be doing your um, financial portion of the reading. And then we will close this out. This is the energy, what you need to know for 2022. Try to get through into as many as I can. I am battling the the the, the tail end of this cold is just trying to linger. It's trying to stick to me. So let's see what is going on with your finances. What is going on with my Scorpios and their finances? What does 2022 have in store for Scorpios? Okay, these two wanted to jump out, so let them, let them, let them, just let them do what they do. So I'm seeing you at this point in time, you have money on your mind. You may be thinking about how can you make more money, um, trying to manifest money, but you're thinking about prosperity. However, some of you need to leave something um, behind in order for this prosperity to come in. And I'm seeing stubbornness and being resistance to change. This is your blockage. Some of you are being resistant to change. You're being stubborn. And some of you are procrastinating, stopping your own growth. However, once you once you start moving, then you will be successful. It will lead to success once you start moving. Things can't start moving until you start moving. You're, you're stagnant, so you're, um, the flow of your finances are stagnant as well. You have to put forth your personal effort and use your creative power that you have, your skills in order to bring in the success that you want. Some of you may need to partner up with someone in order to receive the rewards 
and recognition and success that you are desiring. But it's here. You just have to move move forward in order to get the ball rolling. Get the energy of money rolling. Because money is energy. So in order for it to flow to you, you have to flow, mentally flow, in order for it to flow to you. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Scorpios, this is your reading. What you need to know for the energy in January of 2022. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. Have a safe holiday. And I will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.